Mr. Speaker, tomorrow the House of Representatives will vote on the unborn, pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act. And before that occurs, Mr. Speaker, I wanted to come to the floor tonight and just remind all of us that the United States of America is indeed a unique nation that is premised on the foundation that we are all created equal and that each of us is endowed by our creator with the unalienable right to live. But two years ago, Mr. Speaker, numerous video recordings were released that incontrovertibly documented corporate officers and employees of Planned Parenthood casually discussing their rampant practice of harvesting and selling the little body parts from many of the hundreds of thousands of innocent babies they are guilty of killing in their abortion clinics across this nation every year. Now these videos irrefutably reveal officers of Planned Parenthood haggling over the price of these little organs and body parts and casually describing ways of killing these little babies, often using much more painful methods like partial birth abortion to make sure that the saleable organs of these little babies remain undamaged. One of these videos described an incident where one of Planned Parenthood's employees calls one of the younger employees over to witness something that was, quote, kind of cool. Unquote, that one of those babies' heart was still beating. The older employee said, quote, okay, this is really a good fetus, and it looks like we can procure a lot from it. We are going to procure a brain, unquote. Then using scissors to gather the two employees, starting at the baby's chin, cut upward through the center of this child's face, and then pulled out the baby's little brain and placed it in a container where it could later be sold. Mr. Speaker, I find it so crushingly sad that the only time this little baby was ever held by anyone in his very short life was by those who cut his face open to take his brain. Have we forgotten that not so long ago, authorities entered the clinic of Dr. Kermit Gosnell, and there they found a torture chamber for little babies that defies within the constraints of the English, English language any description. The grand jury at that time reported Quote, Dr. Kermit Gosnell had a simple solution for unwanted babies. He killed them. He didn't call it that. He called it ensuring fetal demise. The way he ensured fetal demise was by sticking scissors in the back of the baby's neck and cutting the spinal cord. He called it snipping. Over the years, there were hundreds of snippings. Ashley Baldwin, one of Dr. Gosnell's employees, said she saw baby, babies breathing. And she described one as two feet long that no longer had eyes or a mouth, but were, in her words, making like this, quote, screeching noise. And she said it, quote, sounded like a little alien. For God's sake, Mr. Speaker, this can't be who we truly are. The fact is that more than 18,000 late-term pain-capable unborn children were torturously killed without anesthesia in America in just the last year. Many of them cried and screamed as they died, but because it was amniotic fluid going over the vocal cords, we couldn't hear them. It is the worst human rights atrocity in the United States of America. Now I know that many of those on this floor and the American media will hold to the standard line and try to cloak all of this in the name of freedom of choice. But I would beg them, Mr. Speaker, to open their hearts and ask themselves what is so liberating about brutally and painfully dismembering living, helpless, little human babies. In spite of all the political noise, protecting these little helpless, pain-capable, unborn children and their mothers is not a Republican issue. And it is not a Democrat issue. It is a basic test of our basic humanity and who we are as a human family. Mr. Speaker, the sands of time 
should blow over this Capitol Dome before we ever give Planned Parenthood one more dime of taxpayer money. And in the name of humanity, Democrat senators should not be allowed to filibuster the pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act in the Senate because passing it would prevent the vast majority of these ongoing evil acts of torture against helpless little pain-capable human babies that these videos have now shown so clearly to the entire world.